turn on, it'll be fine. So, <laughs> the first mini demo is going to be track if Eric got uh, Karen. All right, we're just going to get started. Um, my name is Eric Karen. I'm the technical lead of Track If. We're a web startup in Minnetonka. Running the projectors, our head of operations, Paul Hansen. Um, a couple other Track If employees are in the crowd. We're wearing the subtle Track If t-shirts. Um, so, you know, you see them during intermission. You want to talk to them. They want to talk about Track If. Um, I want to talk about Track If, too, obviously. Um, but before I get to that, I want to cover something that's kind of near and dear to my heart. Um, back in June, we successfully raised a $1 million round of funding. You know, that's awesome. I celebrate. Not a, the, the point of it, though, is that that money came from investors and angels right here in the Midwest. And that's, that's the part that I want to celebrate because I die a little every time I hear a person or a company going to the coast because they say, I just can't raise capital in the Midwest. So I wanted to stand up here and say, like, it can be done. We did it. You, did, you can do it, too. And this, you know, incredibly vibrant community is just a wonderful proof of just how much smartness there is in the Twin Cities. So I just wanted to say, don't give up, don't go to the coast, you can do it. Um, but speaking of investors, they probably want me to speak about Trackif. So back to the, the reason I'm standing on stage. Um, our chief tracker, Doug Berg, really came up with the idea for Trackif um, and scratching his own itch. He had products he wanted to buy on Best Buy and Amazon. They'd be out of stock, they'd be too expensive. He'd have to bookmark them and keep going back, waiting for them to come back in stock, waiting for the price to drop. And so really, at its core, Trackif is just a web tracking tool. We'll monitor what's happening on the web, and we'll notify you when things change. Um, obviously, beneath that, there's about eight days' worth of uh, features that I could be talking about. I think I have about five minutes left, though. Oh, I've got like six? Wow, awesome. Um, but rather than boring you with eight days worth of, anyone want eight days worth of features? Okay, I'll tell a story instead. Um, me and my family recently moved into a house. And the thing you learn when moving into a house is that it's a marathon and not a sprint. Um, obviously when you move in, you're like, I want a new washer and dryer, and I want a new TV, and I want a new car, even though it's not related to the house. Um, <laughs> But if you buy that all right away, you're going to drive your wife crazy. I think she's watching on Ustream too, so hope you don't mind me mentioning you, Crystal. Um, but you can't buy it all right away because the check uh, checkbook can't uh, accommodate it. So you can use TrackIf. And so when I'm looking at getting a new TV, like this TV, I think it's a little bit too spendy. I can just use TrackIf. TrackIf will monitor if the price drops, if there's a shipping promotion, if there's any kind of promotion, if it was out of stock and it goes back in stock. I can just use TrackIf, hit the icon, it'll monitor the site, and I'll get an email whenever anything changes. That's cool, I'm proud of that, but there's also like 40 competitors uh, in the marketplace that are kind of doing the exact same thing. Interesting side note, one of those competitors is Huckster. I'm not gonna spell it because they're a competitor. But <laughs> their, their, uh, their head investors are the Winkle bosses of Facebook infamy. So you know you're in an interesting marketplace when you're competing against the Winkle bosses. Um, so, so really, we've got a bunch of feature overlap between a bunch of other competitors. Um, but the reason that I've got eight days worth of features is that we do some other really cool stuff too. For example, with the new house, the tub doesn't drain all that fast. Um, Crystal would wish I was at home fixing it right now. But I shouldn't be doing plumbing. If you see me with a monkey wrench, run. So I can use Craigslist. I can look for a plumber that's you know, interested in bartering him cleaning the pipes and me doing his website. Craigslist doesn't have anybody offering that right now. I kind of hope they never really do. But just for the sake of this demonstration, I can use TrackIf. TrackIf will monitor Craigslist. If somebody does post that ad, I'll get an email that talks about it. Another example down the street from us is Yo-Yo Donuts. They don't tweet all that often, but when they do, it's kind of sweet. Uh, so I want, that's a donut joke. Um, <laughs> it's never good when you have to explain the joke. Uh, but anyway, they don't tweet all that often. So one of the biggest downfalls of Twitter is that for those really valuable accounts that only tweet like once every four days, they fall away with all the noise. 
Well, I can use track if, track that individual Twitter account, and if that infrequent person tweets, um, like the one I'm really interested in outside of Yo-Yo is Bob Dylan, I'll just get an email when they send out a nice little gem. Um, so that's kind of fun, another feature set. Um, the other thing that is you know, kind of just a name drop because it's a really cool hardware company in the Twin Cities that I respect, smart things. With my Nest device, it should talk to my smart things. So if I'm using the GitHub repo that has the connector and I want to get notifications whenever there's an update, and I, I know GitHub has a notification system, but I hate it because I didn't help it. So I can use TrackIf, TrackIf will watch GitHub, send me an email, and then whenever there's a new update to that software, I get notified. And it goes way beyond that too. Uh, we can track stocks, we can track real estate. Um, if MGMT is coming to town and tickets show up on StubHub, I can get an email for that. Just all multi-purpose, all in one single place. Obviously though, if it was just all fun and games, I wouldn't ever be able to come back to another one of these because I'd have to find a new job. So fortunately, there's a revenue model behind it. Um, one customer that I'm kind of, okay, good, did load. Um, we partnered with iRobot. So iRobot didn't want their developers to have to burn cycles to introduce uh, email functionality on their site for when they have promotions. So by embedding just a one-liner JavaScript into their site, you can hit iRobot, hit the, the track this button, and now they can get a completely private customer base uh, whenever there's promotions. A lot more business opportunities, obviously with Doug Berg at the helm, uh, he's gonna be able to find some ways to make money off of it, and it's really useful to consumers too. So I'm proud of it, I hope you use it, trackgift.com. All right, well the next demo is getting set up. I just want to see a show of hands, who's a community supporter, the individual community